Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about five minutes. Real quick, for those of you that are new, when I say live, what I mean is that this is not a situation where I've already recorded everything and now I'm coming back and talking about it, doing a voiceover post commentary, nothing like that. I'm recording myself seeing the information for the very first time. So if you want raw thoughts, raw emotions, raw reactions, you're gonna get all that with the video. If you want a nicely edited video, nicely scripted, you will not get that with this video. And you know, but if like I said, you want the nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out, you will definitely get that with the video. So like I said, market opens up here in about five minutes. Currently watching XPEV. Uh, I think I'm gonna trade it, I don't know. I really don't know, again, going back to live, something could change uh, within the next four minutes. Uh, so that's always a possibility. But as of right now, the plan is to watch XPEV out of the opening gates. So I'll go ahead and pause and I'll keep you updated. So what you're looking at here is the private community that I offer at ClayTrader.com. And CRS, what I wanna do here is just kinda show you how it works, but also get my thought updated or thoughts documented, but $8 key upside breakpoint. So watching $8 here, uh, looks like a very interesting area. So that has now been alerted and I'm gonna keep a close eye on it. And maybe, maybe a pre-market trade. Like I said, the market opens up here in less than two minutes. So in there at eight, let's see if we can get the break of eight. Definitely a big seller there, but I think if that seller can get out of the way, it should move nicely. Although as of right now, that looks like a pretty big if because there was a big size there at eight. Bigger than I expected. Can it get, there we go. Oh, that was a weak break. All right, just taking my, I thought it would go a lot quicker. It may still go, but, but with the size of the $8 mark, I thought it would, uh, if it did break, which it did break, I thought at that point it would really snap upwards. Um, and even now, it's still, what, 10 cents through there, and I thought it would go a lot faster. Um, so I was right to think that $8 would be broken. I was wrong to think that it was gonna really move fast. So because of that, I just am taking my $25 and moving on. But there we go, a quick little $25 trade. So I was right on that one, but I was also kind of wrong. Well, the market's been open a little over a minute right now, watching XPEV, watching for a sign of weakness right now. Very, very jumpy stock. I alerted 40, whoa. Speaking of jumpy, that was a quick turnaround. I alerted 46.90 in the, in the community, which it's actually approaching, but that's a little bit too, too far for me. Wow, this thing is getting, that was a crazy one minute candle there. But yeah, 46.90 still has not been violated, but that's the level, like I said, was alerted. What's going on with LAZR? Gonna get that $42 mark up. $42 upside break point in one minute. So yes, I am talking to myself, but I'm also just letting you know what I'm uh, alerting in the chat room. But yeah, I mean, it, it's only been, t market's only been open two minutes, but I just haven't really seen anything that's quite cooperated the way. I think, all right, it's right down there at 46.90. I just don't like that setup still. I mean, I still like the point and I wouldn't call anybody crazy for wanting to try to look for the breakdown of 46.90. I just, just not really a setup I'm looking to play. All right, well, I will go ahead and pause for now. Very interested 164 here on MRNA as a potential short, but not, oh wow, not on that candle. I can, I can very easily see a bounce potentially coming here. So from shorting it right now, I just don't feel comfortable with it. In hindsight, I realize, yeah, I should have just shorted, but unfortunately at that point, I did not have hindsight in my favor. So yeah, at this point, just kinda wanna wait to see if this thing wants to bounce up. Yeah, 
Yeah, looking for some sort of uh, bounce back to the upside, some sort of kind of relief from this downwards pressure. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Have an order at 166.45 to try to get short here. Wanna see if it wants to come up to me. Big bounce here, so that's what I was looking for. But yeah, like I said, let's see if this thing wants to, or is this thing just gonna go right back down? If it does, then that's just not a setup I can work with. What is that on Boeing 237.85? Let me get that alerted, Boeing. And now it's just going back down. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that order out. So maybe 163.50. Wanna see it go sideways a little bit more. So I'm interested in 163.50. MRNA 163.50 flush point one minute. So again, you can see the alerts here, just made that one, 163.50 being the level to keep an eye on. For me personally though, I'm not, I don't wanna take it on this candle, wanna see what this candle, maybe even the next candle does uh, before I think about going down there and taking that trade. So yeah, even on this candle, I, I'm not willing to, to take that trade. Although 164.50 could be interesting but in order for me to be interested in that, I'd wanna see this get up over 166 first. So 166 first, and then come down to 164.50. Like I said, step one in that whole sequence is gonna be, it's gotta get up over, I'm gonna get that actually edited in. Update or watch for a break above 166 then failure back down to 164.50 for a short. There we go. Okay, can it get, so right there is what I updated it. Or watch for a break above 166, then failure back down to 164.50 for a short. So it's gotten above 166, so that, that step has been completed. Well now we might even get a better entry point at 166 there but want to see this get up over 167. Okay, let's see this push up, and not even necessarily that, 166.60-ish. Come on, push up a little bit more. Good. Yep, that's good enough for me. So I do like 166 now, if it comes into play. If this thing is a truly strong bounce, well then, so be it, this thing's just gonna keep on bouncing, but, and at this point, it just continues to bounce. So as of now, never mind on that one. Just really a waiting game right now to see when this thing is gonna flash some sort of sign of weakness. I don't like 166 any longer. So once again, just, yep, and there it goes. Just not, not cooperating. A morning of a lack of cooperation so far. Market's only been open 10 minutes. All right, I will go ahead and pause. Well, I'm now watching XPEV, uh, shout out to Kainoa here, remember, alerted the 46.75 mark, and I do like that level. Um, whether or not it breaks, nobody knows, uh, but like I said, 46.75 does look like a very interesting level here that I could potentially be interested in. Is there a delay? It seems like there's a delay between my charts and the level twos. I don't know, maybe not, maybe I'm just not seeing things the right way there, but Regardless, that level has been broken. I did not take the trade. And let me put it this way, even if there wasn't a delay between the, the level twos and the charts, I still wouldn't have taken it. So I don't wanna make it seem like that's why. Um, I just, to me a bit too overextended the downside, would have liked to seen it go sideways a little bit. Um, so I do still like the level, I just don't like it at that exact moment in time. 
Uh, but definitely a nice little alert there. I um, mean, I'm going to continue to keep an eye on that level. But yeah, like I said, regardless of if there is the delay or not, I wouldn't have taken that trade. But I'm, I'm still questioning if there was some sort of, you know, miscommunication there. Wow, we're over. I guess I still got that first trade. So it's not like it's been 10 minutes with no trades. But yeah, I just, um, I'm not quite getting setups that I want to take. So I will go ahead and pause. All right. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, I'm going to watch this again. I was going to short at 165.50. And as I'm saying, all right, and looking at the screen. Okay, so maybe maybe it's working out in my favor. I'd like to see this bounce upwards a little bit and then come back down. So maybe I actually lucked out there by not getting in right there. Like I said, I'm not quite willing to take it. It, it just feels so overextended right now. Maybe I'm being too picky, but I just don't feel like at that exact moment. But if it wants to bounce up a little bit, get up over 166 and then come back down, I like 166.50, or excuse me, 165.50. But for me to feel comfortable, I just wanna see a little bit of a breath here. A breath being defined as getting it up above 166. So let's see the price get back above that area. Again, these are live. I, I don't have hindsight. So I may, this could be a very stupid decision on my part to be you know throwing in that requirement, but I just don't feel comfortable right now at this exact spot. I would like to see just a little bit of a breath But as of right now, looking like that's not gonna be the right decision because this thing looks like it's getting ready to, to head back down through 165. We'll see though, all right. Maybe you can sense the frustration in my voice. It's just, uh, I'm not quite getting what I wanna see. So, all right, I will pause. All right, currently watching Tesla 638 flush point here. Make sure I can even afford 300 shares. Let me test that real quick. Yep, I can get 300 shares. 638. A customer service chat just came in. Let me send that over. There we go. So yeah, 638, a very interesting location here. Not even that, technically. 638.50, I gotta get that updated, whoops. Edit, 638.50, there we go. Nice, I like to see it bouncing like it is right here again. Let's see this green candle come back down. So I'm watching that level like a hawk. I will go ahead and pause for now. All right, it's getting somewhat close. It's just such a fast mover that I, I wanna get the video rolling or else I'm, I might risk actually missing the entry point, but now it's bouncing back up, so never mind. Perhaps I'm getting suckered in here by this candle, but I think this thing is getting ready to, to roll back over here. Let's see if this thing can uh, get some pressure back to the downside, at least down through 539, or excuse me, 639. There we go. So have 100 shares left. Have 50 shares left. Let's see, uh, have 25, 25, yeah, that's enough. It's on Tesla, that, that could add up quite a bit. Let's see if we can get another push down through, there we go. I would love to see this down below 637. That was such a fast move. And like I said, let's see if this thing can indeed get down below 637, there we go, come on. Let's 
Let's give it one more opportunity to get down there through 637. Yeah, really starting to hover around this area a little bit too much. So I'm just going to hop out there for a $626 trade. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that one. And look at there, it's 9.58 a.m. And uh, as my, that means a little bit more to those that are, have probably watched. Well, did I hit record? Please tell me, I'm, let me make sure. Okay, I am recording. But for those of you that watch my videos, um, I've been, over the past several months, been doing what I like to call the be done in 30 approach, meaning on average, I like to be done every morning after 30 minutes. Uh, that allows me to go have freedom of time, which is why I do day trading, right? I, I understand some people do day trading because they want Rolex watches and private jets and Lamborghinis, and that's cool, go for it. I want you to get whatever your goal is. For me, especially as a father of four young kids, I want freedom of time. So, I mean, if I can make $650 in 30 minutes, I'm not a greedy savage. I am more than happy with that. I'm not sure many other place in the world, especially when this is just a side hustle for me, right? This is just one stream of income, a side hustle. So a side hustle that in 30 minutes, just put $650 in my pocket. I am definitely more than happy with that. Real quick before I go, if you are interested in getting the alerts and being, you know, trading alongside me, getting my watch list and everything that you just saw play out live here when I'm, you know, making those alerts to the community, all you gotta do for that is claytrader.com forward slash team. Price is $99, not per month, but for three months, breaks down to $8.25 per week. So it's just a question of, all right, if I invest the $99, do I believe I can get at least $8.25 per week of value? If you think you can get at least $8.25 per week of value, then you will get a great return on your investment. So definitely check that out. And then also, as far as this video is concerned, as far as the live trade video, if you enjoy these live trade videos, please hit that like button. And then also just a simple comment, thanks. Thanks, Clay. A smiley emoji, a thumbs up emoji, whatever kind of emoji you wanna leave, but little things like that communicate to me that this is worth my time. These videos are not easy to make because they are live and because I have to talk to you. Think for myself. Think when I'm gonna alert. Actually make the alerts. Actually press buttons to enter into trades. There is a lot, a lot going on for me. It's totally doable and I will continue to do it, but I just need to know this is worth the effort and worth the time. And you can easily communicate that to me by hitting that like button and leaving a simple comment below. It doesn't need to be anything. You don't even have to say thanks. Just like I said, thumbs up emoji. Something as simple as that, but that goes a long way in telling me that you know I'm not being silly here in from a, a time management perspective. And then also check out the channel as a whole. There's lots of other live trade videos. There's a good variety of videos. So hopefully you like what you see enough to become a subscriber as the, to the channel as I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, I think the, more, the main lesson there was all it takes is one. Think about it. The entire morning, relatively frustrating. But then Tesla showed up, took the trade, and just like that, up 650 bucks in 30 minutes. More than happy with that. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.